It all started with a vision and a set of blueprints. We worked closely with the architect as well as the construction company to create a home that not only met my family's needs, but also incorporated sustainability and smart home technology from the ground up. And finally, after months of planning and construction, my smart home journey commences. Hello and welcome to my channel, which is all about building a DIY smart home that supports the Apple HomeKit ecosystem. And I have done tons of tutorial videos that you can literally use right now. So pretty please do take a look and don't feel shy to like, share and subscribe to always follow along. Yes, I have been MIA for the last five months or so. No videos and no updates. And I'll be honest, I missed it as well. However, the good news is that we are now no longer renting and finally we moved into our new home that's incorporated sustainability and smart home technology that's all linked together. That's why I'm excited to share with you my smart home journey finally commences first with HomeBridge. And at some point in time on that same journey, we will transition over to Home Assistant in a step-by-step -step manner. And yes, I will be documenting my home assistant journey with y'all as well. However, my interaction with the home will always be through the Apple Home app. I'm not going to put in additional effort in creating dashboards. So if you're like me who lives in a beautiful third world country or wherever that may be, and for some reason, there are no Apple HomeKit or matter supported devices available easily or it's simply just too expensive. Then you already have a mix of smart devices from different brands. Now some of them are bought from online marketplace like AliExpress and you have to open different apps to interact with them. Yuck! Now, since my family and myself are all locked into the Apple ecosystem, the choice was very clear. That's where HomeBridge comes in for us. Now, for me, it's an entry level open source software that allows you to integrate various smart home devices and control them all from one platform like Apple HomeKit. Now, it's a fantastic way to streamline your current home setup and make everything work seamlessly together in the Apple Home app. Now with HomeBridge, the value proposition is pretty clear. Bringing HomeKit support where there is none. Now HomeBridge is just a bridge to make devices HomeKit compatible, meaning it allows you to integrate with smart home devices that do not natively support HomeKit. So in short, Everything that has been made for HomeBridge was designed to be used and controlled in Apple HomeKit by basically installing, configuring and using plugins, which in turn makes them HomeKit compatible. Now your main method of smart home control and automation is going to be all done through the Apple Home app. In addition, the software is free to use widely supported in places like GitHub or Reddit, and it is simple to get it working for individual smart home setups. Now, with this new home we are in, HomeBridge has provided me one, the ability to meet my smart home needs, two, ability to control different smart home device types and their manufacturers in Apple HomeKit, three, ability to have a smart home experience all by using one app, and last but not the least, ability to have and build a smart home on a budget. So I started installing HomeBridge on a Raspberry Pi. Setting up was surprisingly easy thanks to the detailed documentation that's available online. And I have done videos on how to install it on multiple platforms and I have left links in the description. Now, once HomeBridge was up and running, years where I started integrating my smart devices and also control them in the Apple Home app. Now, some of them I already have tutorials, some of them will be updated, and some of them will have new tutorial videos. So let's go ahead and find out what they are. Let's start with security. My entire security system is the Unify Protect that comes bundled along with the Unify Dream Machine Pro. Everything works locally, no subscription costs, and no invasion of privacy. 
Thanks to this plugin, it also provides HomeKit secure video support. I will be also updating this tutorial video. Next up is the outdoor lights. All of them are Toya based. And by using this awesome plugin, it also broadcasts camera feed as well as provide adaptive control for your lights. So be prepared. There's a new Toya plugin tutorial coming soon. Then comes the indoor lighting. All of them are Xiaomi and Yi light based and can also be controlled locally. However, the plugins don't support adaptive lighting. So I use Home Assistant to get that effect. Now with climate control. In this part of the world we live in, we typically use split AC units. So prior to going and purchasing those units, I checked and I knew for a fact that the LG ThinQ was available in Brazil and supported by this awesome plugin. So all of the units in the bedroom are from LG. And I also use Sensibo that supports the living room Daikin split AC unit. Don't worry, I will be doing tutorial videos and I also pushed it further by purchasing the LG ThinQ fridge and washer that all can be accessed and controlled via the Apple Home app. Next, we wanted to have cover control. So thanks to Zigbee to MQTT and I've done a video on this. So all of the bedrooms have window blinds that can be controlled via Apple Home app or Siri. Plus I will be also gradually implementing them in the living room as well. Now my next favorite is the pool pump control. Now thanks to this Tasmoda plugin and with some configuration and professional install, I'm able to control the pool pumps and lights, plus also use timers to control them on a daily basis. Don't worry, this one will have its own video on how to put the entire setup together. Next is not forgetting the electrical switches. Again, thanks to Zigbee to MQTT, all of my electrical switches as well as inline modules support Zigbee, allow me to have a strong Zigbee network as well as supports both smart and manual control over the lights. And yes, we do have sensors, but here's the thing. They are Zigbee based, powered by electricity and are all installed in the ceiling. Now they do lumens, person detection and also have other features. I have currently four of them installed. I will be doing a video on it. However, I still need to do some discovery on our daily routines and external factors to build automations. Well, how about battery operated devices? For now, I only have three of them set up, which is a button for the kitchen sink lights, a four seam panel for the gourmet to primary control the lights and a slick 16 panel to control the lights in the kitchen as well as the living room that I have currently set up. Last but not the least, our favorite is the cinematic experience. We love our movie time and love to have a cinematic experience that supports Dolby Atmos using Bose as well as immersive lighting experience that is controlled by the Philips Sync Box and Hue Lighting. I will be doing a video on that as well. So that's what I currently have. I will add more based on our needs. I do have some prototypes being tested that can be used in Home Assistant primarily, which is measuring water consumption, rainwater tank levels, as well as automating certain appliances based on the solar panel output. So let me know in the comment section on how your smart home journey with Homebridge has been. And of course, I do have devices that support Apple HomeKit out of the box which are the door lockers from Yale and Nookie, as well as the nano leaf panels, which was my first purchase that supported Apple HomeKit out of the box. And there you have it, folks. It's not just a house, it's a living, breathing entity that will adapt to my family's needs over time and also enhance our everyday lives. However, there's work still to be done. So thanks for joining me on this journey that I've just started into the world of smart home technology with HomeBridge, Home Assistant, all wrapped up and accessed in Apple HomeKit. So if you have enjoyed this video, don't feel shy to like, share and subscribe for more content. Until the next time, stay connected, stay smart. Cheers and have a nice day.